What is a third culture kid? You've probably met someone who grew up in a different country to where they now live, but there are things about them you may never have realized. Third culture kids are children who have grown up abroad and who have spent a significant period of their developmental years outside of their parents' passport culture. I am a third culture kid. As exciting as our lives sound, there is a complexity and challenge that few outsiders to this life realize. My story. I was born in Windhoek, Namibia, but I have a South African passport because both of my parents are South African. I have lived in five countries, Namibia, Kenya, Tanzania, South Africa, and the United Arab Emirates. I lived in the United Arab Emirates for a significant part of my life and completed my schooling. The culture was very alien to my own, but after living there for almost 12 years, the culture had a significant impact on the person I am now and how I identify with others and with myself. I have since very recently moved back to South Africa to live in a very small village called Sensation. I look more Western than most people with a very pale skin, blonde hair and blue eyes. But yet I identify more with the Arab Asian culture in which I grew up. I feel more Arab than I do Western. I dress conservatively in comparison to my skimpy attired Western friends. I don't judge them. I just don't know how to be Western in the way they do. One must adapt quickly to your host culture to survive and after a while that is who you become. I quickly adapted to the Middle East culture and their values which resonated with me. The irony is after 12 years of living within your host culture, I am now neither Western or Asian. How does it feel to live as an expatriate? I will always be seen as a foreigner in every country that I go to, even if it's my home country. The irony is the passport I hold was not the country I was born in, and it's not the country I identify with, other than through my parents and my extended family. I'm a visitor in my home country. Home is nowhere and everywhere, yet I am seen as a foreigner everywhere I go. At first, you have nothing to identify with initially other than other expats who are the same as you, yet they have been there longer and have already assimilated into the new culture. Eventually your host country starts feeling like your country, yet they are not, because tomorrow your father is transferred or loses his job and you are uprooted and onto the next country where the cycle begins all over again. The reality of home becomes an illusion. How do you answer questions like, where are you from? I remember at the age of nine visiting my uncle in North America and one of his friends asking me where I was from. I looked at them and asked in all seriousness, do you want to know where I live, or where I was born, or where I'm from? They thought I was mad. By then I had already lived in five countries. So how was I supposed to answer that question? How do you adjust to your new environment? There are three common methods of assimilation seen from third culture kids as they try to sort out their identity issues. Chameleons. Those who try to find a same as identity. They hide their time lived in other places and try to conform through clothes, language or attitudes. Screamers. Those who try to find a different from identity. They will let other people around them know that they are not like them and don't plan to be. Wallflowers. Those who try to find a non-identity, rather than being exposed as someone who doesn't know the local culture rules, they prefer to sit on the sidelines and watch. I am a bit of a combination of a wallflower and a chameleon. A lot will depend on the situation. What are the biggest headaches facing expats who move abroad? You are literally packing your life up to move to a different country and the unknown and change is both exhilarating and frightening. The constant moving from place to place results in the third culture kid having to adjust to different dominant cultures. As a result, their identity is constantly being redefined in contrast to the homegrown world they are currently living in. Saying goodbye is also hard to friends that have become surrogate family. One becomes experts at saying goodbye, but it doesn't make it easier. I make friends quite easily. We expat brats have to, but that has its own set of issues. The friendships within an expat community, especially in places like the United Arab Emirates, where everyone is an expatriate 
as the workforce is largely imported are superficial. No one wants to invest in a friendship too soon in case one of you leave. Third culture kids usually have a lot of friends, but only a few close ones, and those are usually spread all over the world. As someone who moved around a lot, I get along with almost everyone, but I am also used to people close to me leaving. What tips would you give to someone moving to a new country? Do a lot of research on the country that you're moving to. Be very organized, explore your surroundings, and have lots of fun. And what do you think are the, are the advantages of moving to a new country? There are lots of superficial fun answers to this, but the reality is it gives you an education you would not receive in any school and unparalleled insights into different cultures and life experiences you, had you lived in one city all your life. I'm not going to lie to you, it was pretty cool growing up in different countries and I'm sure a lot of people would agree. But it's hard not to envy those who have their childhood friends nearby and are able to go visit to their family on the weekend without having to plan and book a flight in advance. I am a confusion of culture, uniquely me. I think this is good because I can understand the traveller, the sojourner, the foreigner, the homesickness that comes. I think this is also bad because I cannot be understood by the person who has sown and grown in the same place. They know not the real meaning of homesickness that hits me now and then. Sometimes I despair of understanding them. I am an island and a United Nations. Who can recognize either in me but God? A poem by Alex Graham James.